So for this build, I went on Google first and I searched up a regular kayak anchor. This was just to get a general idea of the dimensions of an anchor and uh, how long the body and the arms of the anchor needed to be. Uh, so the body would need to be 12 inches or a foot and the arms would be 6 inches uh, approximately. So I kept that in mind during this build. So I'm making this anchor out of conduit piping and I've started off by measuring four six inch pieces for the arms of the anchor and one 10 inch piece for the length or the body of the anchor. I decided to make it 10 inches because I knew I would add length to the anchor later on in the build. And here you see me putting the conduit in the chop saw and cutting it. So once I cut out one six inch leg for the anchor, I used it as a template to mark all the other six inch pieces that I needed to cut out. This is me cutting the 10 inch piece for the body of the anchor on the chop saw. And if you're wondering about this chop saw, I just got it off eBay, um, the cheapest chop saw you can possibly buy. So because <laughs> I needed to cut metal in an accurate fashion somehow. All the arms for the anchor needed to have a 45 degree cut to them to better position and weld them onto the body of the anchor. So using a square or the triangle piece that you see me using, uh, I made sure before every weld I had a 45 degree angle um, on the pieces that needed to be welded. And I used a 3 millimeter or a little smaller than 1 eighth of an inch rod welding at around 100 amps, but I turned down the amperage a little bit um, because I noticed that the conduit would get so hot so fast that it would actually start making holes. I started to cut off some chain pieces so I could weld them to the front and to the back of the anchor. This is me welding a single chain piece to the top or otherwise the front of the anchor. As you can tell, the anchor is coming along pretty nicely at this point. So this is how the anchor looks like so far, and at this point, all of the welding is finished, but I do need to cut off a little piece from every arm on the anchor, and that's because when the anchor is on the bottom of the water and it's trying to dig itself deeper into the soil and stop itself, uh, a better angle of attack is needed, and so that's why I'm cutting off a 45 degree angle. Otherwise, all this anchor needs now is a rope and a system on the kayak to properly use it. So after adding a rope and also cutting off those ends on every arm, um, you have this completed anchor. And the total length is a little over 16 inches, uh, including all the chain links. And of course the arms stayed the same, so they're just six inches. But now that we have the whole anchor completed, we need a system on the kayak to properly use it. So that's what I'll be talking about next. So this is my kayak. It's a 10-foot Aruba Sun Dolphin kayak, and I'll be modifying the front and the back ends. So using a piece of chain link that was left over from the anchor build and a cord that's approximately 14 inches long, I took the cord and put it through the chain link, then attached the whole thing to the front of the kayak through the hole that was already provided. I did a double overhand knot to secure the whole thing into place. You don't need to use anything fancy, just make sure the knot can't be undone. I did the same thing to the back end of the kayak, and when you're done, it's a good idea to melt the ends of the cord to prevent fraying. Now you take either another chain link or a clip and tie one end of the long piece of cord that you have to it. Then you run that cord through the chain link that you put on the front of your kayak and also back through the chain link that you attach the cord to and then run it through the back of the kayak. Now you just run your cord through that middle link one more time and you adjust the tension. As you can see everything's being pulled tight and when you have the tension just right you can always tie it off at that spot. And what's great about this system is you can always untie the knot and readjust the tension as needed.
Now when you have the rope on your anchor, you pull that rope through the centerpiece that you're moving to the front and to the back of your kayak. And what that does is basically readjusts the position that your kayak will be placed in when being pulled by the anchor. Out on this beautiful body of water. And I have the hook here. Or the anchor, I should say. And it's connected to around 25 feet of line. And here's the end. So to hook up the anchor properly, you're gonna take the end of the line and you're gonna just put it through the pulley system and pull pull the whole the whole uh, reel, the whole 25 feet through the system. So if it's possible to see on camera, there's a stream or current going over here, and I'm currently uh, not moving because my friend is holding me, and also <laughs> and also um, we're in seaweed right now, but. I'm going to go over there and I'm going to hook this up properly and I'm going to release the anchor and see if it uh, stops me from moving. You can move it to the front or to the back, however you like it, and I'm going to move it to the front. And then so when the current pulls me, then I should be facing that way because the current is coming this way. I just wanted to show you really quick because I'm in the current that that's as far as it goes. That's how shallow it is. And that's sand down there, or sleet, or clay. And, uh, and it's perfect for, for the anchor to test it out. Right now, I'm moving. There's my friend. And right now, I'm moving. So, I'm gonna go ahead, and, I, and I'm like, I'm perpendicular to the current right now. I'm gonna go and put this anchor down. Let the line run. Hold on. There you go. Put it all the way to the front and let it just. And see, I'm turning. And uh, it's pulling more line, but I'm gonna stop it. Hold it. And relative to, you know, the seaweed, uh, it appears I'm not moving. And I can pull myself. I'm pulling right now. And so, relative to the seaweed, I th yeah, I think you should be able to see that I'm going. There's a few improvements that you can do to make the anchor a little bit better. One of them being weight. This anchor in particular weighed barely a pound and a half or even less than that. And to improve that, you can melt down some aluminum or lead and fill up the hollow tubes that make up the anchor and then seal them off. Um, another improvement would be adding a cleat to the kayak so you have a place to put all that excess rope um, when using the anchor. But other than that, it was fun seeing this thing work and fun showing you guys the process of how I built it and uh, thank you for watching.